Hello friends, today we will learn how to insert data using serialize method in Laravel. Okay, let's start. This is my form, first name, last name, email and save button. Okay, we have complete our form. Now we start script jQuery. Script. script variable document document dot ready ready function function okay now variable hash save this is button ID button type button ID save dot click click function 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 now when click on button we check that our data that input field data is here or not variable data is equal to my form my form is id of form id form method form id my form dot serialize serialize okay now we check using alert if we have data or not control okay name harry last name potter Harry at the rate gmail.com okay now when we click on save button we have data name Harry last name Potter and email Harry at the rate gmail.com okay that we have data now we start Ajax uh, command this Ajax. Okay. In Ajax type uh, which type of your data get or post. We use get method. Type data. Data is our variable. Okay now url url is uh, we create a new url for our adjects save serialize serialize data okay this is our url now success success function function uh, we check here using alert if data is passed in our database then alert success message ok uh, serialize data Uh, here ok now go over page inspect elements in networks 
refresh my page Harry Potter Harry Potter Harry at the wait gmail.com okay save serialized data but here is some error and why this is error because here is not root for save serialized data okay we create a root here uh, copy this and here uh, save serialized data and my controller in my controller this is my controller my controller is this one okay here we create a new function save serialize data okay uh, return we will not need okay now check refresh Harry Potter Harry at the dot com save success success means it work it working fine okay name last name and email now we don't have this data in our controller we want we want this data in our controller okay here variable for name and uh, input get name the name is from here name in this in serialized method we do not use id we use name okay field name 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 lm and email okay uh, we check if we have data in our controller or not here my controller okay uh, check here echo print print r die copy and paste okay now we check data of data is in controller or not uh, this is page harry uh, last name porter okay harry at the rate gmail dot com okay save success it working fine okay harry we have Harry first name because we mention only first name in our controller now we mention all three input fields name uh, variable l name is equal to input get input get l name l name and our email sorry now uh, this is our email email and this is email email ok now we have three input fields data now we insert our data in our database uh, first of all we need to create data base or table uh, 
go to php my admin okay okay this is my php my admin i am using my laravel database my laravel database uh, here, here is no table okay we create a new table my laravel database i mention my laravel here db database my laravel okay uh, now we create a new table in my laravel database uh, table user user data okay user underscore data uh, we want uh, four columns okay now now we create a uh, id id is auto increment okay name name last name and here email okay name where var variable character characters and email also sorry uh, now save now we have database uh, in this database we have table name user data but here here is no data because we no we are not using query insert query in our controller now we are we are using our insert query okay variable data is equal to uh, db table okay my table name my table name is uh, user data user data okay uh, in this table we insert insert is a function of laravel uh, insert or this input field this input field these input fields data uh, name this name is a is our field name this one okay name in name we insert our input data which is comes from input field uh, this one name now like that email sorry last name variable l last name okay now email 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 uh, here not need semicolon ok now uh, our query is finish ok this is our query for inserting data into database now we are here uh, fill blanks uh, name uh, harry hardeep uh, singh uh, hardeep at the rate gmail dot com now save click on save button okay
सक्सेस मैसेज इट मींस और एज यू एज यू कैन सी और आवर डेटा इज इंसर्टेड इनटू इन आवर डेटाबेस फील्ड ओके नाउ वी इंसर्ट सेकंड डेटा लाइक हरदीप सिंह एंड राहुल कुमार ओके राहुल सॉरी राहुल एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम ओके सेव सक्सेस इट मीन्स इट वर्किंग फाइन नाउ गो टू आवर डेटाबेस रिफ्रेश हेयर इज द सेकेंड हेयर इज सेकेंड डेटा ओके सेकेंड डेटा ऑफ अ इनपुट फील्ड ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज मैथड यूजिंग सीरियलाइज दिस इज अ सीरियलाइज मैथड इट कॉल सीरियलाइज मैथड वन मोर थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन इंसर्ट इट यूज बाई दिस यू कैन इंसर्ट इट वेरिएबल डेटा इज इक्वल टू इनपुट all uh, you by this method you do not need this okay you need only this line of code data sorry Here change user data. Okay, now we check that this method is work or not. Okay, Rahul Kumar, Rahul, at the rate. gmail dot com save success it means that it work fine we have a three records so this is another method for using insert for insert data in database okay if this is helpful for you then Please like and subscribe our channel.